Hi, welcome. I created a tutorial where when moving through it, text would be shown to explain stuff. So let's show you how I did that. Let's first enable the collision shapes. You notice the blue rectangles when moving through them, text will be shown. Those are area 2Ds. Let's create that together. First, let's create a node. Let's add the player, add another node so we can reposition stuff. Then add our label with the text we want to display. Let's align the two right just because we can. If we run it, it will be shown instantly. So let's look at the label properties. It had a couple which are interesting. We have uh, visible characters which we can tweak but then we need to know exactly how many characters we have and we have the percent visible and that's what we were gonna use it is a percentage between 0 and 1 so let's say 0 0.5 will display half of all the characters you typed and 0 won't be showing anything so let's animate it using an animation player make sure that the animation tab is selected, click new, add a new animation, let's call it show. Name doesn't really matter, but let's call it show. Set the time to the start. Then make sure the animation tab is selected when you click on the label, otherwise the keys icons won't be shown. And then click on the key behind the person visible. Yes, we want to create a new track and the key is added. So let's Go to 0 0.7 seconds. We set the person visible to one. Just drag it or click on the arrow. Click on the key again, and another key will be added here. So now, if you drag it or click on the play icon, you see the effect we want. Set this to zero because we want to start at zero. Then we're gonna add a way to trigger, which is area 2D. Gudo helps you along with giving warnings that we also need to add a collision shape. So come on A, Control A, collision shape. And another warning that we need to set a shape, which is this property. Let's click on it and add, for instance, a rectangle. And we have a rectangle which we can use as a trigger point. Now we need to listen to when the player moves through this trigger. You can do that using the signals here, but I'd rather do that from code. So let's click on the node we just created. Let's uh, call it animated text, add a script, animated text, it's the same name, just create it. Now we want to listen to the area 2D. We want to connect to it with it, to the body entered signal who's gonna handle it ourselves what's the name of the function let's call it play animation name you can come up with yourself let's make a function make sure you pass the body because otherwise the signature of the signal won't match the function and it, you will get errors and now we can do just a quick check if it works Let's move through it and we see a show text below here. And if we move through it again, we see the show text again. That's what we want. So let's now play the animation. Let's refer to the animation player and say we want to play something. Kudo will say, okay, you have an animation called show. Let's play that. And if we now run it, if we go through it, the text will be shown. But if we go through it again, it will show again and show again. Maybe this is what you want, so then you can stop now. Otherwise, we go back to the script. You can do it on another way by disabling the collision shape, but I rather just stop listening. So I copy this line, and when it's triggered, I will disconnect so I won't listen again. And if we now move through it, it will be shown, and that's it. One final thing. Now, when I'm editing my text, 
I won't see it because I have to have set my percentage to one before I see it. So now I can change alignment or the position of the text. But if I now run it, I will see it immediately and I have to set the percentage back to zero. So let's do that from the script. When the script is ready, let's say the label percent visible should be zero. So now in the editor, we can just do whatever we want with the text, position it, change the alignment, change text. And then when we run it, it will be set to zero and won't be shown until we pass through the trigger. And I used that in the tutorial to have several texts with several collision shapes attached to them. And each of them has his own animation player. I made one reusable scene, so I can use it. And it looked like this. I could just walk through it. The text would be triggered. Text would be triggered. Text would be triggered. Text would be triggered, but not re-triggered again. So I hope you found this interesting, learned something, and hope to see you again soon. See ya.